Club. I'm your host, Phoenix Flair, and today I'm joined with one of the co-hosts, uh, my good old friend Astro Gummy, aka K. Uh, hello. I'm Gummy or K, yeah. or Gummy or K or Gummy. Yeah, either or, both at the same time. I don't know what that would sound like. It's like gum. <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, today I brought you back into the- this sh fucking show, because, uh, we're- we're gonna be reading Badly. more trolls no. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I gotta drag some poor unfortunate soul to read trolls fanfiction, man. <laughs> so real. Yeah. What better way to get into the trolls fandom to read, uh, one of the most popular trolls, I guess besides Branch, like, one of the newer ones, is, uh, is Floyd. Cause, you know, the whole emo thing, pe girls are into that. And yeah, I definitely was. I definitely not still am. <laughs> um, well, as you may know, I've only watched the first film, so I'm kind of going in blind. So, yeah, yeah um, we're back with our characters here. It's been a second, but yeah. it seems like there's a lot of things going on. Yep. What, like we just get up back from the, his concert or something. Yeah, so what I remember is that we were chatting with Floyd, and then he abruptly like stopped responding to us. And then he was like, "Oh my bad, uh, I had I was doing some shit. Can we meet in person?" And then it turns out yeah. he was part of the band. And then he was like, "Actually, yeah. I was kidnapped and <laughs> just held hostage." So, uh, oh yeah, how was your day, man? <laughs> that did happen. Yeah, and he was so nonchalant about being kidnapped. So yeah, I'm just kind of trapped here forever, and they're probably going to kill me. I mean. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you know those, uh, you know those pop stars, Vin like, Velvet and Veneer? Yeah, they held me captive. It was, it was so awful. So how's your weekend like, going? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, he's like, yeah, so, uh, anyway, uh, how, how's your life? <laughs> how's life going? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we're just, like, dumbfounded. We're like, what the f- how the fuck? You're like, uh, I- I had chilies. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> One, uh, Wendy's four for four. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, oh, wait, I have a penny. Let's go. All right, let's uh, see. Else. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with... Fuck. I actually never get to pick. I usually get the other person to pick. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do Tails. How did you read Tails I read? Okay. All right. <laughs> do it. All right, it's heads. Heads, so I read. All right. Who's John Dory? I don't know. I'll be John Dory. All right. <laughs> I'm sure I left my glasses ba back here. John Dory muttered to himself as he went to the backstage to look for his sunglasses that he was going to wear for the performance, but ended up forgetting to put them on. That's a long sentence. <laughs> too distracted by each other, the young couple in love realized too late that there was someone else. In a reflex gesture, Poppy pushed her boyfriend away from herself too violently, which caused him to roll across- oh, Jesus Christ! To roll across the floor until he collided the backup sound equipment. God! She got All strength, right. man. Dude, she's like, whoopsie! Oh, oh my god, I'm falling down the stairs! <laughs> All right, John Dory looked dismayed for a moment when he saw what happened to his younger brother, but in the next second he became- began to laugh compulsively as if he had seen the funniest thing he'd ever seen in his life. I should have recorded that, he said almost breathlessly from laughing while Poppy ran to Branch and helped him by unraveling his body from all the wires. Still laughing, JD went to him and extended his hand to help his brother get up. <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> I'm, f um, you, uh, I'm fine, you can keep laughing, he grunted as he took his older brother's hand getting up from the ground. What did you want me to do? You know I love videos of people falling. <laughs> Damn. JD argued at the moment his laughter finally began to dissipate. Here you can be Poppy. Alright. Oh, fuck, where- Oh. I'm so sorry, babe. When I realized he was there, I just panicked. I didn't know what to do. Poppy apologized, feeling terrible what, about what she had done. It's okay, baby. It was an accident. Branch assured her, resting his hand on her shoulder, and they smiled at each other. If you guys wanted to be alone, you should have- you just have to tell us. The older brother said in a suggestive tone of voice. Bye! 
Stop it. We weren't doing anything much. Poppy denied it, even though they had already given themselves away. Okay. JD pretended to believe what she said, soon remembering that he went there to look for his sunglasses and looked again. But it didn't take long to find them. Oh, here they are. I'm going back there if the lovebirds want to finish what they started. Actually, we can't. I remember that my dad wanted me to talk about something, Poppy said, holding Branch's hand and hastily walking back into the restaurant. It seemed like another lame excuse, but it was true that Peppy wanted to talk about something with her and Viva. Something they al already knew about it, but they didn't tell- but they didn't told him, not wanting to spoil his surprise. You continued to talk to Floyd for a long time. Oh, they, they refer to the character the you, okay. Yeah, that's Time right. seemed to go faster when you were with him, until you remembered the mental note you had made and looked back to see if you could still see Claire. Your mouth dropped open, not only because your mother had decided to go there at the last minute, but because she looked so much prettier than the last time you saw her. Those hours at the spa had certainly done her a lot of good. Damn, what if she had like sagged, like, like a sagged face and like wrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> Are you- God. You could be Floyd while I'm, uh- Oh yeah, I was reading. Floyd. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, what happened? Floyd asked as he noticed your sudden reaction. My mom came! She really came! You exclaimed happily, pointing at her. On the way there- Celine, Celine, had received several compliments from the island's natives. She couldn't deny that she liked it, as it made her feel beautiful, but she made it clear to all of them that they had no chance with her. She was about to get married and was very happy that her engagement would be made official that day. She couldn't wait to see Claire and Yu's reactions. <laughs> it wasn't long before she spotted one of her youngest daughters playing in the water as soon as she entered the restaurant. Uh... You I can, can be the mom. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there you are! She explained, reaching down, pulling Claire out of the water and picking her up in her lap, much to her and her playmates' disappointment. Contrary to her expectations, Claire ended up having fun playing with Tiny Diamond, and he was also enjoying playing with her. Let me keep playing- I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Let me keep playing with her, mommy, please! She asked, <laughs> trying to use her extreme cuteness to convince her mother. Mommy has something very important to talk to talk to you and your sister about, sweetie. And after that, you can continue playing with him, Celine said, starting to look for you, while the two children waved goodbye and almost cried, as if it was the last time they would ever see each other. It's like Dang. when you meet a best friend on like in a park, and you're like, man, this is such a great day, and you're like, you don't want to leave. Might and then you never see them again. Yeah. Uh, she quickly caught sight of- wait. Yeah, she quickly caught sight of you when you, she saw you wave at her, walking over to your table to talk to you. She soon became, became excited to see that you were sitting next to a young man, creating expectations that you were finally interested in someone. You look so beautiful, Mom! You praised her with a smile. Thank you, my darling! She thanked you, then looked at Floyd. Aren't you going to introduce me to your company? Oh, oh, you know my online friend Dark Sky? <laughs> you asked before enthusiastically gesture. <laughs> this is uh, people when their Discord mod boyfriend come to visit. <laughs> uh, this is how I'm going to introduce you to my parents if we ever do them. Like, hey, you know that friend <laughs> Gummy is... I'd be talking about? This, this, this is, is Astro Gummy. Yeah. I, <laughs> I remember. Don't you dare. <laughs> I remember when I, like, when you started sending, like, the sticker stuff and whatnot, it had your thing of, like, Astro Gummy on there, and my- my, oh my god! thought, like, you did, like, you sold, like, edibles? Oh, <laughs> and, like, hallucinogenics, because it's called Astro Gummy? Oh, no! <laughs> so no, not kind! Yeah, so I was, I had to explain, like, no, 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 it's, it's just, like, like, drawings and stickers and, and just shit. Drawing, that's what your mom. Not, <laughs> not that's hallucinogenics. So funny. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. Well, if my art business goes under, I know what I'm doing next. Yeah, see, it did perfect marketing. You just change the logo a little bit, keep the name. It'll be like... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there you go. I, I can advertise. <laughs> be like, oh, I right. tried these great gummies, and they were really good. Shout out to Astro Gummy for hooking me up. 
now get 20% off of this bag. <laughs> uh, this isn't real, guys, I swear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, oh, I fuck. think. Where's Floyd at? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, ma'am. He smiled at her. So, it's you? She asked with a smile. Please don't disappear out of the blue again, young man. This this girl was so desperate. I didn't see her like that Damn. even when the the Bergens tried to eat us again. Wait, again? <laughs> again? Oh, when wait, I forgot. I forgot about that. That was the first movie. Did you watch uh, the first movie? I did, but it's been forever. There was a plot line of they were used to be captive and eaten, and they escaped, so for yeah, a while they were okay. eaten. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> gotcha, I just forgot the name. Alright. Let's go. Uh... Uh, you gasped when you saw her saying all those things, feeling your entire face turn red with embarrassment. <laughs> Fine, he said, between laughs. Am I going to have to bribe you not to say something else to him, too? You grumbled, resting her face on the table. We'll talk about this later. I'm gonna need to steal her from you for a while, okay? It was at that moment you remembered how excited your mother was about that trip. It seemed for a much bigger reason that you just than just watching a show. No problem, Floyd. Floyd replied to her before looking at you again. Let's talk later. You couldn't help but laugh when he seemed to wink at you, but there was no way for you to know when part of his hair covering half of his face and his other eye. You so emo. emo. <laughs> <laughs> when you noticed, you found yourself a little sad that you weren't in his company anymore for like a split second. <laughs> what was happening to you? No. I felt that. Meanwhile, Poppy was with her father and her sister, pretending excited to know what he was hiding. Oh, you could be Viva. Okay. Oh, yeah, I oh, remember her voice. Do we have another <laughs> secret sister? Viva tried to guess <laughs> and then winked at her sister, making the former king laugh. No, I swear I didn't have any more daughters, but Peppy replied. But I have to say that you two sh will soon have more sisters. Despite already knowing, the two gasped loudly and looked at each other, imagining a thousand possibilities of what it would be like if they were four instead of two. There's a lot of different plots in this. Oh, My that's a dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it, there's Princess Poppy, and then there's King Peppy. Oh. <laughs> I, I was My like, oh, they dear. <laughs> Peppy exclaimed when he finally saw his beloved fiance dropping his kid and running over to her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seeing her fiance running towards her, Celine released her daughter's hands and ran to him, spinning him in her arms. You're confused, to say the least, to see your mother being so intimate with the former king. <laughs> Me too. I'd be, be like, what? You didn't have much courage to talk to the queen, but that moment made you feel completely. You made you completely forget about your insecurities, and you approach her and your sister. Do either of you two know what's going on? You ask them. Uh, girl, I know as much as you know, Queen Poppy replied between <sighs> giggles. After exaggeratedly long displays of affection, they finally seemed to remember that the four of you were standing there without understanding anything that was happening. King Pe Girls, that's the news we talk about, Peppy said with a smile, taking your mother's hand and giving it a kiss. We're getting married, and your mother announced happily, leaving you gasping. Gaping? Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh, how Claire and you... How Claire and you didn't have ha didn't had a father, while the queen and princess didn't ha had a mother, <laughs> with your parents' marriage, that automatically would make you four sisters. Any troll would make you feel like the luckiest troll in the world to have the queen as an older sister. But being honest with yourself, you were worried, very worried. Yeah, that's that's a lot to take in. Yeah, I, I love that like. Well, we don't have a father, and they don't have a mother, so why don't we just, like, combine the two? <laughs> there, shortcut. Yay. Uh, life hacks. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Chapter 5. Alright, you can begin. You can be the main character and narrator. Oh my god, I have main character syndrome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yep. Let's go.
Also, when when they made like they introduced like uh, like I think Jason Dory was that his name in here or John Dory? My bad. John Dory. Uh, when they did JD, isn't that the main dude in Heather's? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I instantly thought of. I was like, no, not the theater could flashback. <laughs> <laughs> not the the musical phase I had in high school. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I getting, I've been getting Heather's stuff recommended to me on TikTok because I watched, like, Hasbin Hotel. Because people oh took the voice actors, the voice actor for Vox and made him sing the lines of JD and Meant to Be Yours. I'm like, no, I oh can't escape. Oh my god. <laughs> now you're getting all the suggestions. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You already imagined that your mother was seeing someone when she went out once a week, but you didn't understand why she didn't say anything like that to you. You just thought it would- that you should already connect the dots when the former cake started approaching your sister and you. Suddenly, you were scared when Princess Viva gave you a strong hug and lifted you in her arms soon after going to her sister, just like the queen. However, unlike Claire, who seemed happy to have them as sisters, you didn't seem so happy. Peppy walked up to you and held your hand in Claire's smaller hand. Uh, oh, girls, I knew you'd grow up without a father figure and everything is happening so fast with our marriage. Oh my god. But if you want, I could be your father, he said in a sweet tone of voice. I feel like this should have- I feel like this should have been introduced before they just put a ring on it. Yeah. That's a lot yeah, of change it's, all it's, of a sudden. It's a lot going on. Yeah. Not even like, they didn't, her mother didn't even tell her that she was going out with anyone and whatnot. It just got sprung up all like, of a sudden. Like, oh, by the way, yeah. this is happening. Oh, by the way, you know that, like, how I've been going out of the house once a week? I actually been dating this man for three years and uh, we're getting married <laughs> now. Here's your new father. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here's your father, uh, he, 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 that whole time you didn't meet him, whatever. Yep, happy birthday, alright, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Speed run. When did you connect? Oh, when did, when did you two meet, you asked, ignoring what he had just said. What just said. He was briefly dis disconcerted about that question, but understood your curiosity and replied that it was while Poppy went on a mission with her boyfriend to rescue Floyd. Your mother spoke to the girls, and they quickly hugged her, showing them that they already welcomed her into the, the family. I always Thank you. wanted a mother. Will you, will you comb our hair, let us vent to you about things, read us bedtime stories, and give us milk and cookies? Viva <laughs> asked so quickly Hunger. that it was difficult to understand what she was saying. That's awesome. Whatever you want, Celine replied with laughter. Which made the princess give a excited squeal and hug her once again. Hey mom, can I go back to the hotel? You asked her in a low tone that they wouldn't hear. Ha, oh, are you leaving already? Queen Poppy asked, holding your hands and holding your hands in hers. Stay with us. The night has barely started. I'm sorry, but I'm just not feeling well. I wanted to get some rest if you don't mind. You politely declined, which made the big smile that she had on her lips disappear. Oh, alright then, she said. But anyway, if you want to come back, we're here, okay? She was so nice. You were sure she would be disappointed when she got to know you better and realized that you were, that you were her younger sister. I read that. Yeah, I read that right. <laughs> He gave her a smile so that so that what she had said wouldn't be in vain and said goodbye to everyone before walking back to the hotel. Oh, I know I should have told her that before and not waited all this time, Celine laminated. Lamented. Oh, Celine was the fucking mother. I thought it was the child. I was thinking of Claire. I gave her some just <laughs> Uh she just she My just bad. does that sometimes. It's fun. Yeah, that's where Claire gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, where are we at? It's okay, honey. It's the the peppy. Uh, oh. His father. It's okay, honey. Let's give her some time. Peppy comforted her, resting his hand on her shoulder. 
I know that one day we will win her over. We, you could have done that years ago. Yeah, you could have started like I'm, I, I'm not saying introduce him right away just in case shit don't work out. When you establish yeah. a nice going relationship and a lot of trust, that's when you should introduce him to the family. Take notes, everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I hope so. Time skip. Ooh. Who the fuck is- oh yeah, I was like, who the I, fuck is Clay? What is I can be Clay. <laughs> yeah. You get to be Dream, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's what the mask <laughs> I wear a mask with- <laughs> Hey brother, do you have your head in the clouds? Clay asks his younger brother, noticing how distant he, wa distant he was. I guess a little, Floyd laughed. I was looking for my friend, but it looks like she's nowhere to be found. I think I'll ask her mom. That one you met on the internet? He asked again. Yeah. The younger troll gave a smile that didn't go unnoticed by his brother. Oh, what's th with that little smile? I know that smile. Clay teased him, elbowing him lightly. I didn't expect how, how I felt about her w would change, he said, feeling his cheeks flush as he remembered how lovely your smile was and filled him with joy. And that's a good thing? Perhaps. Floyd replied. <laughs> Perhaps. <Yeah. laughs> I thought I'd be able- I, I thought I would always see her as the girl I met four years ago. Isn't it funny how things change overnight? I know what it's like, Clay said, remembering all the time that had passed before he realized his feelings for Viva. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she might like me too? He asks his older brother. <laughs> the real question to ask is, who wouldn't like you, bro? Clay replied, wrapping his arm around his shoulders. Anyone would be lucky to be the object of your affection. Thanks, Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd smiled. He could always count on his brothers when it came to his insecurities. Not long after, he was briefly startled until he realized it was his cell phone vibrating in his pocket. He picked it up to check and saw it was you, asking him to go to the hotel where you were saying where you were staying to talk to him. What happened? Clay asked, noticing him put his cell phone back in his pocket and get up from his chair. <gasps> <laughs> she needs me, Floyd said. <laughs> Dude, what a white knight. Bro, as soon as I read that like we asked him to go to the hotel, I fucking had that All it song. Is. <laughs> hotel, motel, holiday. <laughs> Give me two. So, how many updates have this gotten before we last read this? Oh shit! I think it updated three times since we last done this. Oh, look at the last. Like, look at the picture on the last chapter. She's so. Look at the drawing her friend made. That's so kawaii. What, in the last chapter? Yeah. Look, well, look at the picture on the last chapter. Like. The most recent chapter. Oh, like chapter 29? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Kawaii. You need to say two things. First, to show you this wonderful drawing my best friend made of adult Harmony. Who the fuck is they got a Who's Harmony? <laughs> SNOC? I don't know. But they got a has been hotel profile picture. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's Lucifer, man. I, you know what? Smash. <laughs> <laughs> well, last updated February twenty fifth. Yeah, so recently. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a lot of plot building about the sudden uh, marriage and all that. Yeah, and then our development going on with Floyd and whatnot. We need a support system in this hard time, you know. And what better person for that job than this boy band member? <laughs> Oh, yes, it's a teenage dream. Yay! It's, it's straight up like all those old Wattpad fan fictions back in the day. Oh! I stood in the crowd and watched as Nickelback came on stage. Then he <laughs> looked at me and directly told me to get up on stage, and I sung every word perfectly. And then he invited me backstage. <laughs> and then we lived happily ever after. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> That's so awesome. Mm. To be continued? Alright, to be continued. I didn't know if we were doing chapter 6. 
Yeah, uh, let's see what chapter 6 will be about. Uh... It's probably gonna be us being like, Oh my god, my mother's marrying the former king, and now I have my sister. Why did she friend. tell me? <laughs> did she not trust me with this information? That's what we're gonna do, and he's gonna be like, hey... It's I'll sing a okay. song for you, babe. <laughs> oh, please, that'd That's... be so fucking funny. <laughs> that'd be so freaking awesome. Yeah, and it's just one, like, he's like, I wrote a song just for you, and it's just, like, one of the old songs <laughs> from back in the day. <laughs> also, what is this? Never used to be in it, like, the Nickelback. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this? Floyd on Hot Dogs? <laughs> I remember yep. that commercial. <laughs> I do man, not. That man sounds, sounded so depressed doing those lines. <laughs> Floyd on Hot Dogs. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, I can't wait to read more of this, man. This author is pretty good. Besides, like, just- I mean, there's just basic, like, grammar and spelling and whatnot, but, like, other than that, it is a solid good read. It seems like they actually planned ahead and wrote out yeah. this, like, fan fiction of how everything was gonna go. So I can't it's wait true. to see how- what happens. Especially since this is still updating. True, we have more content awaiting us. Yay, more shit for us to look at, let's go! <laughs> I'm about to draw them kissing, uh, this is- this is my OTP. <laughs> what, a Floyd and our mystery person? <laughs> yeah, our- our troll OC. Yeah, oh shit, what is that one fucking- it's a- it's a drawn picture of two people kissing and it's like, very open mouth, just like, draw over that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm full of bright ideas. <laughs> Dude, you should work for the Trolls movie team. <laughs> I'm just like, what if they- <laughs> oh, never mind. What's that old meme? It was like, what if we kissed in during the Trolls 3 movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a picture of our OC and Floyd. Yeah. We, we gotta make OC. <laughs> Dude, we need a Trolls OC. Oh my god. There are people Go on ahead. Twitter that make the Troll OCs. Like, you just request however you want our, the little guy to be drawn, and they and they draw it. Holy shit. Some of them- Oh, I just looked it up. Some of these are really good. Yeah. So, the ones I saw the most of were people drawing Hatsume Miku as a troll, of like, making her a techno troll. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. pretty cool. Because there, there's different races of trolls. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, from one of the sequels or whatever. Yeah. That's cool. Alright, well, thank you for joining on, on this weird-ass... I, I was about to say podcast, and I'm like, this ain't a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thanks for joining on another fucking video, man. I <laughs> Of it. course, it is my pleasure. Yep. Uh, Gummy's card will be linked below in the description if you want to throw money at them or support them on any of their social medias and whatnot. Thank you! I'll be at a Benny Wit Midwest tour this, uh, this summer. Uh, look on my card and it'll- it'll show the dates. Let's go, man. Hopefully I can get on a plane and come up there one time. We need to meet in person, you know? This is so real and also true and also factual. I've, nev I've never been on a plane before. I'm absolutely terrified of doing it, but I will if it means that I can see m see my boy, you know. <laughs> Dude, that would be so hype. Yeah, I was I was very scared the first time, but it was it 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 was all right. They they gave me snacks, so nice. I was fine. I always see it portrayed as such like a pain in the ass part of like traveling that I'm like I don't really want to deal with that. I'll just get in the car and start. Driving. It is, but it's quick yeah. uh, after all the bullshit yeah okay all right well check out the playlist for other people's uh book readings and whatnot and th yeah that's pretty much it i think that's all my lines that i have to do <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway my name is phoenix that was gummy and we'll see you guys next time Bye bye, bye.